Hello everyone, welcome back to Angular JS Tutorial Series Part 19. My name is Nisha Singla, and in this video, we will discuss how you can use nested controller or scope inheritance in Angular JS. In my previous videos, we have discussed about scope that acts like a glue between controller and new HTML page. Each controller has its own scope object. So when we define nested controller, then the child controller will inherit the scope from its parent controller. So from this diagram, you can understand if you have parent controller and inside that you have one more controller that act like a child controller. So in this case, child controller will get inherited from the parent controller. And here you can see I have also mentioned the root scope. So in my previous video, we have discussed about the root scope that says that in Angular application, there is a root level scope that acts like a root scope in Angular JS. So if you didn't cover my previous video on root scope, click on the link below. So let's understand with a practical demonstration how nested controllers work in AngularJS. So flip to your editor and for this demo I will use this part 19 folder and I have index.html file where I have already included my Angular script and my module script and I have referred that module with the help of ng app directive and my module name is main app. So this module you have to create in the app.js. So in my previous videos, I have already discussed that how you can create your modules. So I will use angular.module method and I will mention my module name here and the list of dependencies. So I will create empty array here as of now. So this module I have already referred here with the help of ng app directive. Let's quickly create one controller and we are quite familiar with the controller syntax because we have already learned in the previous videos. So my controller name is parent controller and this controller will have its own scope. So I am injecting this scope here and I will bind one property title on this scope object. So this is my parent controller. So suppose I have one more controller and I give it a name child controller. This controller will have its own scope as well. So I will create that scope. As of now this controller don't have any property. So I have two controller and in the first controller I have one property. So now I want to use this controller as a parent controller and this controller as a child controller. So first of all to use the controller in the index.html I have to use ng controller directive to refer the controller here. So my controller name is parent controller. Now within this div you have access of all the data of the parent controller. So if I say title, so automatically the data from the parent controller will be visible here. So if you run this demo, it will display the title property from the parent controller. Now to create the nested controller in AngularJS, you can refer your another controller inside this div. So automatically it will create a nested scope for you. So now I want to use this child controller inside my parent controller as a nested controller. So I will refer one more ng controller and I will refer my child controller here. So now within this div, you can access all the property of child controller and it will also inherit from the parent controller. So as of now, I don't have any property in the child controller. So if I access the title property here, as this child controller don't have this title property, so it will fetch the title property from its parent scope. So the title property here will also print from the parent scope. So now if you will check it on your browser, you will get the same output parent controller and parent controller. Because in this case, prototypical inheritance is working. So if your child controller don't have this property, so it will look at its parent scope and it will print the data from the parent scope. Now let's create a title property here in the child controller as well. And I'm giving it a name child controller. So this time now if you will check the output, the child controller has its own title property. So it will display child controller here. But now what I want, I also want to access the parent data inside my child controller because now child controller has its own title. But if I want to access the parent controller data inside parent controller, that also you can access. So in AngularJS, there is a parent property that you need to use to refer the data from the immediate parent. Let's wrap this title inside a paragraph and I display one label here that data from child scope. And here I will say the data from 
parents ko so if you will put directly title obviously it will access from the child score so it will display child controller and child controller but here i want to get the data from the parents you need to access this title from the parent property so you have to use one property here parent so in this case whoever is the immediate parent of this controller it will get the data from it so now you can check it is it will display parent controller here so in angular js nested controller will create on the dom structure like this so suppose you also have one more level child controller inside this child controller one more child controller so in that case to access the data from the topmost parent you just need to keep on adding the dollar parent so if you have one more controller inside this child controller you have to use dollar parent dot dollar parent dot title so at that time it will get the data from the parent controller as of now this is all about nested controller in angular js hope you like this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then keep learning bye bye